Zara and Mike Tyndall are one of the most openly affectionate couples in the royal family, and they have recently been enjoying some quality time together across the continent. The couple, who have been married for 12 years, flew to Rome for the final of the Ryder Cup last week, which saw Team Europe ultimately triumph over Team USA. The parents of MIA, 9, Lena, 5, and two-year-old Lucas were spotted at the golf chatting to Dragon's Den star Peter Jones, with Zara looking casual yet elegant in a white ruffled blouse. Both Zara and Mike matched in baseball caps as they took in the game at the Marco Simone Golf Country Club in the Italian capital. The Tyndalls have some impressive sporting credentials themselves, as Zara won an Olympic silver medal as an equestrian while Mike helped England win the Rugby World Cup in 2003. Click here to join our WhatsApp community to be the first to receive news about the royal family at his annual ISPS Hander Mike Tyndall Celebrity Golf Classic Fundraising Day for the Cure Parkinson's Trust and the Matt Hampson Foundation. The former rugby player revealed that his wife had also been trying her hand at golf. He told Hello! Magazine in 2022, Zara has this year taken up golf with the Slingsby Golf Academy, so she is going to be hitting a few balls but she also does a great job raising money through selling mulligans around the course. My golf is a bit like the weather, changeable, but I really enjoy it and it's a great way to spend time with friends. Following their time in Rome the Tyndalls carried on to Paris for the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe horse race, which saw Zara don a forest green hat adorned with a big sage green rose. Mike also smartened up in a navy blue suit and looked adoringly at his wife, with Zara's stylist Annie Mile sharing an image on her Instagram story. Last month Mike appeared in the ITV documentary Grand Slammers, and shared a very candid confession about life after rugby and his marriage. He said, Everyone thinks that just by marrying Zara that means it's all fine and dandy. But that doesn't stop the fact that you need a job. And it's not that easy, you know, you get quite institutionalized into rugby, it's a way of life and you leave the game and that's not there. I don't think you can ever sort of describe when you're so used to being around that many people, and understanding, because of it being ingrained in you, where you fit in to then not being that person. Zara would say if she was honest it was probably a year it took me to figure out what I was, who I was going to be. You've got to then go carve where the next path is. You can never replace going to work with 35 of your best friends every day.